So into our previous video, we have already created your virtual machine using our portal. Now here in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create your virtual machine using your Azure CLI. It works same as your CLI, which you are going to use from your command prompt. So let us try this here. I'm going to show you how you can use even this particular CLI to do the same thing what we generally do from your CMD. So it is connecting to your system, your Azure. So no need to, you know, log in from this particular system because already we are logged in. So you can see here, welcome to your Azure Cloud Shell type AZ to use your Azure CLI too. And if you require any help, you can. Now again, if I provide the command uh, AZ login, now again, see it is showing you, you are automatically logged in because you are using the CLI provided by your Azure itself. So we can clear out the screen here. Okay, by giving the command CLR, I'll just increase the text size so that you are able to see 12. Okay. So uh, now we are going to create our virtual machine by using your CLI of your Azure. So very first what I'm going to do is as of now, I have only one resource group and into this resource group, I have created a virtual machine using our portal. Now here I'm going to create a separate resource group where I'm going to create a new virtual machine for our portal here. So I'll give the command AZ we know we have already used it group create hyphen hyphen name rg2 i'm going to create an allocation east us hit enter okay so fine i'll create into central east central uh, your central india itself central india Let's clear out the screen. Once more, I'm going to check whether there is a problem with your location. Hyphen, okay, hyphen, hyphen location. We have just provided hyphen. Okay, Central India. And enter. So it has been created. And just I'll refresh it out. You can see over here, we have Central India created. Now we are going to create each and everything new for our new virtual machine, which I'm going to create using your CLI. So starting with your VNet, I'm going to create a new virtual network for my CLI. So just clear out the screen so that you are able to see it well. AZ network into network. We are going to create a new VNet into your resource group rg2 which you have recently created with name vnet2 hyphen hyphen subnet i'm going to create here with the name subnet2 hit enter so it's been created clear out the screen let us check into your RG2, you should have one VNet2 created over here. So you can find this, right? Now, the next thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to assign a public IP address for my virtual machine. So I'll keep it ready. So for that, I'll give the command AZ network public IP I want to create under your resource group RG2 and the name of the public IP which I'm going to create will be public IP1. Hit enter. So one public IP will be created and if you want to see this public IP you can also go from here. You can search from your uh, search bar. It is showing you the public IP addresses. You can see we have two public IP address. One was for Windows VM1, which we have created using Portal. And this is the second public IP, right? And now what we need to do is we are going to create a new NSG group. That is your firewall. So for creating a firewall, I'll again give the command network uh, NSG create 
okay hyphen hyphen resource group rg2 hyphen hyphen name as nsg1 hit enter it's been created now now next what we need to do is we are going to create a new NIC for our uh, machine so here I'm going to create a new NIC AZ network NIC create hyphen hyphen resource group RG2 okay and then we are going to define the name of your NIC as NIC1 double hyphen again we are going to link everything here because this is an NIC which I'm going to create and I want to add my VN, VNet so that uh, this NIC will be connected to my VNet as well. So I'll just define the name of my VNet here, VNet name, VNet2 which we have recently created. And then we are going to define the subnet in which my system is going to connect by using this particular subnet IP. And uh, this is your subnet2 which we have created and the next is your NSG network security group NSG 1 and then we will define the public IP address so we have created our public IP as public IP 1 so we have defined it so this is about the network we have defined right so this NIC will be connected and stored into your RG2 name of your NIC will be NIC 1 and we have connected to your VNet2 in this particular subnet and this is security group which we have created for it and this is the public IP hit enter so it takes a little time because it's going to connect and create all this particular resources and you can see here it has been created and we are getting success RG2 everything is done and uh, let us move into your RG that is your resource group 2 let us check you find everything over here or not like you know you have created your NIC VNet right so there are a number of resources we have already collected for our uh, new virtual machine which I'm going to create so these are the resources you have an IC you have NSG1 public IP and your VNet right and into the VNet we also have one subnet next our main task to create a virtual machine so for creating a virtual machine, I'll be giving the command az vm create. It is very simple to use. Whatever you want to create, just define the name over here and create. And remaining the same, you're going to attach your resource group, which is resource group 2. And uh, just you need to define the vnet as well correct and the location where you are going to create along with the name of your virtual machine which you are going to create so I'm going to create my virtual machine with name VM2 and again we are going to define the location for uh, keeping this virtual machine that will be again my central India itself I'm going to locate the same and uh, next what we need to define is your NIC I'm going to define the NIC with name uh, NIC1 which I have created and then I'm going to define the image so image I should we should know what kind of image generally we have for our um, virtual machines right so I'm going to install my Windows 2016 itself so I'm going to use 2016 data center okay and then the admin name for this virtual machine I'm going to create the admin with name as whatever you require test user one and admin hyphen password I'm going to define I can define the password here like whatever the password you want you can assign here okay and then we can define is your size or your uh, you have different options like you know you can see you can define the size of your virtual machine so you have size as so these are the size you just keep the tab you will get everything here 
and these are the size available right so these are the options available I'm going to define the size as a0 basic right I'll hit enter a0 just we need should know the proper name of your let it be it will take a default size okay I'll hit enter there is some key okay error we need to check what where we are lacking okay so there is NICs so we have just defined the NIC over here okay so I'll just make it clear here I'll just ensure that it is NICs defined here okay hit enter okay admin okay we need to define admin username we have just defined the admin click here it has started creating your virtual machine now and in couple of minutes you'll be able to get your virtual machine let us check whether you are able to get it into your portal or not so okay we are using the same I'll go on dashboard okay and we are going to move into your virtual machines here till now we are not getting any entries Shin, what is showing you okay so we need to define a different location here okay so I'm going to clear it out and just I'll change the location from Central India to any other location I'm going to make it as East US and hit enter so it's running once it will start deploying you will be able to see it on the screen as well so here you can find it's getting created and it's showing you it's creating into your resource group RG2 so we'll wait till it's getting created and then we'll see how we are able to connect this virtual machine using your CLI so you can find here it is successfully created and ready to use so this is your VM2 running as of now in front of you and now we are going to connect this VM2 so as of now it is not enabling you to connect as of now why because not we have defined any particular permissions that it can connect to our system so for that we will define the permissions so that this machines can be connected easily so I'm going to define the permission over here by defining the command az and then we are going to define the permission so we are going to define the permission to open port or we can define open VM port okay and the port number will be 3389 as we are going to connect it through your RDP resource group which is your RG2 and the name of your virtual machine will be VM2 okay so the error was we haven't defined the port number okay so I'm just going to use this and here I'm going to add a parameter hyphen hyphen port so this was missing now it will enable the port or that is 3389 so that you will be able to connect this virtual machine here so this particular option will be enabled you can see it has been enabled now you can connect this particular machine like you have connected into our previous video so just need to connect it will download vm2 rdp just by defining the password and the username you have defined into your script so here we have defined the username as test user1 and the password we have defined that was again okay, so long password now we are able to connect to our system which is we have connected recently and we have created recently by using our CLI so this is how generally we can connect to our virtual machines and using our CLI even you can use a command called as MSTCS so that you can connect your CLI more so even I'm going to show you how you're going to connect by using your uh, own command line here so this is how generally you connect here so this is your server 2016 
which we have installed okay same way if I want to uh, connect my different virtual machines I'll be able to connect it in the same way and if I want to connect it to using our command line that is through CMT you can use the command MSTCS and we can define colon sorry slash v colon and the public IP of your system so here I want to connect VM2 so uh, this is the public IP of your VM2 just copy this and I'm going to move into my command line and I'm going to paste it over here and hit enter I can see it is directly connecting you to your VM2 just you need to do pass on your password and you'll be able to connect so this is how generally we can create your virtual machines using your command line as well as we have seen how we can connect this particular virtual machine using your command line and use them so here we have completed with this particular video into next video we are going to do the same we are going to create your virtual machine but through PowerShell